Hello everyone, this is me Vineet, once again presenting you my final demonstration of the Google Summer of Code 10th season for OpenMRS. My project is about to build a module that can be used in OpenMRS for ETL and predictive analytics. My mentor is Gaurav and my backup mentor is Ranga. For a quick recap, our problem definition is to add functionality in OpenMRS such that healthcare provider can analyze over historical data. So the problem solution is divided into two parts. The first one is extract, transform and loading. One have to log into the database, then select and choose the data, then log into data warehouse and then load data to the data warehouse. And the second part is predictive analysis. In this, one have to log into the data warehouse, run the analytics query over the data warehouse, fetch back the results and preview it in tabular graphs and charts form. So following are my timeline accomplishments. The first one is the ETL module wizard. It is a user friendly wizard which collects the information from the user. The second one is the basic requirement to access the MySQL and Hive database from the module web interface. The third one is drag drop support for selecting data columns. The fourth one is loading data into Hive. The fifth one is running queries over Hive. And the sixth and the last one is fetch back results in the module web interface as tabular graphs and charts form. Apart from the timeline, I have some additional accomplishments as well. The first one is ETL module scheduler. This will perform a scheduled ETL task for you. The second one is auto login with current OpenMRS MySQL instance. The third one is downloading data warehouse query result as XLS sheet, CSV format and TSV format. The fourth one is raw SQL join query support. And the fifth one is saving or loading queries from the local storage. What I saw so far in the development process, one can add a support for other database for the data warehouse. One can also add a real time manipulation with the analytics data in the module. And one can also add a support for email and sharing. And there are a lot of stuffs which can be included in the module. Now I will show a live demonstration of a module, how it is working and what I have done so far in this three months. The module is already uploaded. Now let's move to the administration panel. Most of the things you have already seen in midterm presentation. Still for the new viewers here is a quick recap and progress after midterm presentation. Now as you can see in administration panel in the ETL module section there are three options available. The first one is ETL process in which the wizard took you from whole ETL process to complete analytics view. The second one is the data warehouse login. This is the same process you have to go through after data loaded successfully to warehouse. And the third one is the wizard for configuring credentials for the newly introduced scheduler. Now let's move to the ETL process. ETL process is the only thing one have to know how to use and rest of the feature one will understand easily. You can fill it with the credential of MySQL instance you know or you can also use the current MySQL instance of OpenMRS running. So I am going to use the current instance login. Now we are start exploring the current MySQL instance of the OpenMRS. Now as you can see there is a list of database. I can choose any one of them. I am going to choose OpenMRS as the database. As you can see here there is a list of tables that are present in OpenMRS database. I can choose any one of the tables or I can choose multiple tables as well. So I'm going to choose this patient table. Now it is showing me the list of all the columns that are available in the patient table and the table from which it belongs and the database from the table belongs. So I can choose any one of the column or I can choose multiple columns as well. So I'm going to drag and drop patient ID, date created. And tribe. 
now I have chosen all the columns that I wanted now I click next now I can put any join condition if the selection of the columns required as it is not required I am click next okay as you can see here there are two options hive server and mysql currently i can use this both type of database as my data warehouse so i am choosing the hive server so i have to fill up the credential for the hive server here so username is root password is hadoop the sshs host is the host on which my hadoop is running and it is running on a virtual machine so i am going to put the ip address of my virtual machine which is the same as written here that is 192.168.56.102 and the SSS port is 22 and the database I have to create temporarily I can use the name temp underscore db and the table name because I have chosen patient table so I can give a table name related to it so it could be patient sorry patient data now I will click load and it will take a while to upload all the tables information to the hive now I will click execute query on hive Now I have an option for Hive login here. Instead of that, I can also do the same procedure from the data warehouse login. So instead of going through this Hive login process, I will click on data warehouse login. And then I have to do the same thing. I will do that at the same page. Now username is root, password as you know is Hadoop and host is 192.168.56.102 SSH port is 22 and now I will click login it will take around uh, 30 to 45 seconds for successful login I think less than that Now I will make my own query which is select a uh, tripe comma patient underscore id from fault dot patient underscore data where patient ID is less than 100 I will click execute query here you can see the query is already executed and it's waiting for fetching back the result from the hive okay now as you can see here all the top 100 patient ID data is populated in this HTML table now I different options are available here like download it to XLS format export it to CSV format or export it to TSV format now when I click on download XLS this will download a file for me I will click on it and this will open my Microsoft Excel yes as you can see here all the data is now export to as Excel sheet close this file now as you can see at the bottom of the page there is a graphs and charts option so this will view all this tabular data in graphs and charts form so different type of charts are available here like line column area pie 
etc. So I will click on pi and this will show this all data in the form of a pie chart. So I will click on graphs and charts, maximize this and you can see here there is a pie chart of the data that is populated from the hive. A lot of things I have learned so far in this three months of session. Like I am experienced now with several of web technologies like Java Servlets, Spring MVC, Direct Web Remoting, Ajax, etc. I also improved my web designing technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery. I also learned about big data technologies like Hadoop, Hive, Scoop, etc. And apart from this technical stuff, I also learned about the open source theme like communicating with the developers, patients and making friends out of the community. So following other resources that are involved in my project, you can visit the OpenMRS wiki page. You can also view the source code or you can visit my blog URL to know what are the new features I am going to implement in the near future. Thank you OpenMRS, Google Summer of Code and everyone for supporting me and providing me this opportunity for this wonderful module development. Thank you.